Maybe I already died, and maybe I'm actually dead. Walk through me. Whoa, yo, are you serious? <laughs> You're too old to be doing that. You're all going to jail. Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, it's always time to clock in. We're clocking in early today. My eyes haven't quite awoken from their slumber yet, and I've got a whole trip planned. And I'm gonna be honest with you, nobody's excited about this trip, dude. I'm excited. You can see in my in my smile, I'm pumped for it. But David's not excited. He wants probably wants to hang out with his girlfriend. I get that. Jeff Wittick's not excited because I told him like, yo, be in my house at nine in the morning. This motherfucker don't get up for shit. He's gonna be in such a bad mood. I know you ain't exactly super pumped about the trip, all right? I'm just sick. I'm happy. I'm excited to go on it. I'm just like a little sick and I'm missing a jujitsu class for it, which I'm really passionate about. It's early in the morning, right? It's what? Fucking nine in the morning? The car dealership's open at this time. Car dealerships are open at this time. I want to do something to get you in the mood. You know what I'm saying? Girl, that's a black belt in jujitsu. You're 40. What do you expect me to say to this? It's a real life 25 foot tall wave inflatable arm man. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My entire life, I wanted two things. One, to flow in the lazy river, and the other, was my own 25 foot tall wavy arm inflatable arm man. <laughs> now, uh, whoa. Poor neighbors. Life is a struggle. The only thing <laughs> I'm sick, man. The only thing certain about life is sickness, hardship, struggle. The guy you start a podcast with, he goes through his own problems even, right? There's a lot of them. The reason I like this guy so much is because he's always smiling. It's raining out, lightning storms, and no matter what, he's always keeping a positive energy that make other people happy. I see a lot of myself in that guy right there. Guys. That guy's fake, man. <laughs> that fl inflatable guy's fake. He's not real. He it's, exists in your head. He's real to me. <laughs> That's the good part about it. It's, it'll be a nice surprise. What well, do you think about that? Um, to be honest, you know, I don't want to put it in the video, but I just felt like this is the shit that you hate on, like, YouTube kids doing dumb shit like that. And you're like, I what am I doing in my life? Like, I keep doing fucking YouTube. I don't want to do this shit. I want to progress. I want to mature and move on to something new. And then you go buy some fucking dumb shit like that. That's what you took out of What them? next? Are you going to put balls in your pool? Just you're gonna put you gonna put a bunch of balls in your that's pool. That's what you took. Or bees. That's what you took out of it. I have an industrial grade dealership quality wavy armed and Oh, that's off. why you said car dealerships <laughs> yeah. are all this morning. Fucking nice, bro. Joke of the day goes to David so far. <laughs> if you want to call me up at 8 a.m. and get me here for reaction vids, like we're in the vlog squad, count me out. I'm not good for reactions right now. Get Kyle. He's fucking 17 years old. <laughs> Come on, there. there. Come with me. Yo, come react to this, bro. This is just another example of what I'm talking about. Always in life, there will be a critic. There will be a person trying to get into your head. Someone trying to steal your thunder. Don't be happy. This is stupid. You're too old to be doing this type of shit. Make videos about death and red pill and the Republicans. I'm here to tell you that whatever makes you happy, you keep doing that, okay? If a wavy arm, if a $200 Amazon wavy inflatable arm guy makes you happy, then you... Get out of here, you Yo, no demon. way, you got the Greenberry Primes? What, bro, this is so sick. See, that's bro. the energy I'm talking about. See, there we go, bro. And now a word from our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by our friends over at Manscaped, and they have teamed up with the Testicular Cancer Society to remind men year-round to check up on themselves. One man every hour, every single day is diagnosed with testicular cancer, so now's a great time to remind you guys to always be checking yourself for lumps, changes in size, or pain. And to help remind men to check up on themselves, Manscaped has dropped this limited edition purple lawnmower 4.0 TCS special edition waterproof electric trimmer. I found this bad boy to not only be the best way to keep myself cleaned up and ready for action, but the logo reminds me to look for any subtle changes to my partners downstairs. Here's the thing, this special edition trimmer is a collectible. There's only 15,000 of them in circulation, so once they're gone, they're gone. And with the launch of this special edition lawnmower 4.0, Manscaped is donating $25,000 to men affected by testicular cancer. So you guys can get the tried and true quality of Manscaped, a reminder to check up on yourself, support a good cause, and get 20% off plus free shipping. All you gotta do is go to manscaped.com and use my code MAYLAC 
Click the link in the description below and let's get back to the night shift, baby. Potentially the most important fast food item on the planet, the McDonald's hash brown. Here's the problem. I got three hash browns and one Egg McMuffin for David and it came out to 1551. What type of inflation where a fucking three hash browns and one McMuffin cost $16? And what about the Chinese? You know what? Actually, fuck it. You're right. It's the fucking Chinese's fault, dude. You can't say that. No, they're not. Yeah. They don't have YouTube in China. Yeah, oh, yeah not a true. single Chinese person is watching. That's why. This. Look, I'm not racist at all. But if I'm gonna go at anybody, it's gonna be the Chinese because they don't have YouTube. They can't you know see it. Saying? They can't complain. No, that don't make fucking can't see jokes. See, now I'm offended. It's not meant it. Racist. Also in the news, Eduardo Chelmi Camavinga from Real Madrid. Boom! Look at that shirt. One of the biggest football players on the fucking planet wearing my shit, bro. None of those people are real. Soccer players. It's football. Dick buddy. Rider, Meat Rider, Meat Rider, Meat Rider. We're going to a place that people from Southern California only dream about. A place called June Lake. Just gorgeous. Mammoth Lakes, California. If you guys have never been there before, you gotta put it on your list. It's beautiful, but it's far. I think I got COVID. <laughs> 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 Yo, Lana, if you're watching, I feel for you. I understand what you mean when you say he's a gaslighter and uh, all he cares about is content. No wonder why she left you. To go have that kid with <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to feed her some McDonald's right now, to be honest with you. Don't body shame her. She's perfect. I have been begging you no, to no, bang no, her. No, no, no. Don't you... She scares me. She scares me. Why? She's really hot. And when I look at her, I just think of you. And it's just a bad mix, you know? Bro, bang my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> nah, 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 I can't. Because I feel like it would get her off my back a little bit. But what if we fall in love? That would make me so fucking happy. If that happened and say we had like a wedding and shit and I, I made you the best man at the wedding, you would do that? If I can shoot it, I can do it. What would you say in the speech? Oh, you would just Snapchat it. My best friend married my ex. 100%. Sick. 100%. All right. We were somewhere around Barstow on the edge of the desert when the drugs begin to take hold. If you guys have not seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, you gotta see it. We can't stop here, this is back country. Don't mind me, I'm just admiring the shape of your skull. Hey babe, how are ya? Good, I'm Oh, let's go, We're doing yoga? Oh. Oh, why does my camera keep turning on? Yo, what are you, fucking 60? Learn how to use technology. Wait. I'll just wait, I'm not doing anything. Are you fucking serious? What white bitch you wear with that fucking bicycle? Oh wow, a whole yoga ceremony. Yeah, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Have a good yoga session, I'll talk to you soon. What? Alright, okay, bye. You going to fuck other girls? Are you fucking insane? <laughs> <laughs> she almost got it in there. You know what's nuts? Because she's Latina, she will get mad at that. But she's hot, you know? Why'd you have to throw that in? Is it not enough to just fuck I my ex? I was given too many like insults like with the Latina thing, but they are beautiful, you know? <laughs> Welcome to our cabin that we got for one night because Jeff has to go back for an eye appointment. Look at this wraparound deck, bro. Damn, a couple years ago, this video I'd want to be like a nightclub. Like I would want it to be at like lava or tau now like boom, boom, boom. Now this shit, like you could see I'm glowing. I'm so happy to be here in this fucking beautiful nature, this outdoors. Look at this shit, bro. We first got here, look at the first thing we saw. He's so blue and majestic, bro. Mike's idea to go to the ghost town was just thrown on me last minute after a five hour car ride when I thought we were going on a fitness trip to do uh, long bike rides. What do you think, ghosts don't eat fitness? Do it, do it, do it. Kill, kill us, kill us out here. Because if you get us stranded here when I'm in this condition and with these body aches, and this fucking virus that requires a ventilator. It's taking more gas for sure, because the wheels are spinning more. The wheels are spinning more? <laughs> he said the fucking gas get, gets burned faster because of the altitude. <laughs> I didn't say that. What? <laughs> she did. No, because we're going so, up. The car doesn't have lungs. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't know fucking gravity. You're <laughs> dumb Americans. In all its glory, a real spooky ghost town. We made it. And now my comrades all are gone. Naught remains to toast. They've left me here in my misery. 
like some poor wandering ghost. Probably some fucked up shit went down here, bro. Some real fucked up shit. This was like Staten Island. This is where the people lived. They would commute into the city every day to go to work in the in the uh, mines. Yeah, the industrial power plant over there. What even is that? For the strip club. That's where the, the whores are. Yeah, miners, yeah. No way. Yeah, that's what they were doing up there. You could see the whole, you could see the, the thing coming down where they were probably mining. Get the fuck out of here. That's real? They had like a guillotine? And they would slice heads off? What, why are you, oh, what that's are you talking what I about? I wonder if we could pay one of those guys, those people to give us a tour right now. Or the town How are you? How are you? Hi. Well, here's my question. So I, I have this YouTube channel. It's a large one, one of the large ones on the planet. I came out here to Bodie, and I'd love if somebody could explain to my millions of fans what happens here in some of these buildings. And I'd be willing to even spice up the pot with some USD, some US dollars, or gold bullion, <laughs> if you guys are interested. <laughs> but I just feel like you guys, especially you guys who look like you potentially lived here based on your attire, <laughs> could do better. Who are you talking to? Well, just the, the uh, is that who? what they would have worn back <laughs> in the day here? You know, I'm portraying a character who <laughs> was born in yeah, 1955 no, and died in uh, okay. this is 1933. That's the exact era we were casting for today. We so are sold out. We have a wait list. If you'd oh, like to that's all right. I'll just, I'll just do the tour myself. I feel like I had them up until I talked about them looking like they were here in the 1800s. Cause I you really got embarrassed when you said, look, I got a YouTube channel and it's a large one. <laughs> I left. How do I say to someone, yo, I have a big YouTube channel without it sounding like being a douchebag? You just don't say it. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, I just started, this is my first YouTube blog. Want to help me? I'd rather say, yo, listen, how would you like to present Bodhi to millions of people? Hundreds, hundreds of thousands. Okay, hundreds. you're right. Right now, hundreds of thousands, unless this video <laughs> explodes. Well, if Lana's, Lana's in, in, like a ghost in one of the Lana. ghost towns, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, right. The yeah. old juicy Lana. butt Lana, not the new skinny one. Bro, don't hate on that new slender frame. I think she looks great. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. That's why she's going to be my wife. Hey, man, I'm all for it, dude. All right, but And I'm going to be her child stepfather. Hopefully you keep working so you can put some fucking food on the table. Oh, I feel like you're saying what the audience wants to hear. I'm not, I hot. do it every day. Watch this, watch this. I'll give her a call right now. Wow, there's no service. <laughs> yeah, that's why he said he would do it, because he knows that he can't reach her. She said she wants to throw my gr new girlfriend into a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> that's your skinny too. You should yeah. probably eat as well. Both of you guys should eat something you together. Fucking stop eating, how about that? <laughs> See, and I get in trouble for saying that. I don't think you should get in trouble for saying it. I think we could say whatever we want on this channel. She needs to eat more, yeah. I need to eat a little bit less. Why don't we fucking move out here and do whatever we want. Oh, there ain't no political correctness here. You can say whatever you want. They probably got the Chinese people that ain't watching this video locked in the I can't believe we got shut down by those pilgrims. Are you serious? Oh, don't talk shit because there's ghosts here. Hey, you know a lot of roads, they would have been like, oh, okay, say no more. You just over feel my that hand. energy? I pissed over my hand. <laughs> you ain't dead. You're about to be after you see the size of that fucking schlong. I'll tell you that much. Good God. Should have gone into the business with my ex-girlfriend. Oh God, I did it. Pissed all over my yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, did you hear that energy? <laughs> fucking, <asshole>. <laughs> <laughs> fucking drive the stake in your heart. The site of Thomas Trelore's murder. In the early hours of January 14th, 1881, minor Thomas Trelore was shot and killed at this corner of Maine and Lowe's. Witnesses said Joseph DeRoche, who was romantically involved with Trailer's wife, shot Trailer as he left the dance at the Miners Union Hall. Right here. I'm actually a little scared right now. There really is no one here. You can get away with just about anything right now. Kill me. Do it. Do it. Is anybody else out of breath right now? <laughs> All jokes aside, it's actually crazy. These people were secluded. This is not close to anything. Like, they were out here, bro. Andrew Tate wasn't around. Was Andrew Tate even around at that point? Yeah, of course he was. He's immortal. I'm down to move out here if you guys to want. To Bodie. To be like here? We'll be person number 14 and 15. He's 13 right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it through the night. Wasn't sure if we were gonna because there was a lot of spooky stuff going on in the house last night after we went to that ghost town I think a couple of the ghosts might have took offense to some of the stuff Jeff was saying over there All right, I got the chills. I got a fucking sore throat. You keep it up. You're gonna be one of the next characters in the ghost town yourself Maybe I already am Maybe I already died and maybe I'm actually dead walk through me Whoa, Yo, are you serious? I just threw up. I just puked while running. That's that spirit, that guy that killed that other guy at the ghost town running through you. Fuck that guy. Big cyclist, as you know, at one point in my life, 
I weighed just under 300 pounds. I'll put a picture right here. I was as fat as could be, a big lard. That's why I can talk so aggressively about fat people because deep down I am one. I came on this trip because Mike told me this was a fitness trip. We're gonna cycle in the best cycling on planet Earth. And then I get here, oh, it's a ghost town vlog. We gotta go pretend to be spooked by these ghosts because it's almost October and spooky season is good for ad revenue. I came here to fucking do this. And we love it, he loves it. He, he almost sold that bike because he wasn't loving it as much as he once did. But well, that's because I started doing jujitsu and shit like that. But you know what I realized? Jiu jitsu is kind of gay. <laughs> I, no disrespect to all the jiu jitsu guys. I love it and I'm gonna continue doing it. But what do I need a guy to fucking roll around with in pajamas for, you know? <laughs> No, but like, you are right, dude. Who the fuck wants to work out in funny outfits? <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Oh my god. Oh my it's god. It's so true, dude. <laughs> This was a pretty ride, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all fun and games one second, and then you hit the uphill portion. Just lovely vibes before. Got off the bike, friendship, outdoors, nature, cycling. Things took a dire turn for the worse. Jeff had a major, like almost like a some sort of relapse of the virus that he's been dealing with. Business is business, we gotta get this done. The Shelter Distillery. They have a smash burger on the menu. This is not a fucking smash burger. White American cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, brioche bun, and this is a hickory sauce of some sort. I, I'm, I'm not excited it, by any means. I'm excited to finish this burger and get this kid to the hospital. Going next, but uh, here we go, three, two, one. Everything on it is really fresh, and the cheese is really good. It is, I was right, it is um, bread and butter pickles. It's 10 out of 10. <laughs> you just back now? Back? Let's get it over with. Okay. Get me home. Get me fucking home. They don't have fries. They got chips. Like a mesquite barbecue chip. <laughs> come, come on, come here. I want to hate this burger. Everybody's sick. The team's falling apart. There's fucking folk music playing. No fries. They got chips. I'm eating in the fucking sand and the dirt in this parking lot. How you doing? The brioche bun is nicely toasted. The meat's good on it. The vegetables are all good on it. Shelter Distillery, Mammoth Mountain, clouds, puke and Jeff Wittick, unadulterated beauty and nature, and just, you know, overall, a great trip for me, but maybe not for everybody else. 7.1. 7.1, Shelter Distillery. Jeff's feeling better. It was altitude sickness mixed with the respiratory infection which makes it a lot worse. Can you hear this? We're on the side of the highway right now because look at the sun touching the top of those mountains right now. Well, let me take a moment since we're here to educate you guys on what altitude sickness is. Some of the symptoms are headache, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, fatigue, uh, mala malaise, how do you say that word? I don't know, malaise. Malaysia, you're malaise. from Malaysia. We're still at 5,000 altitude. And I was like, yo, why don't we go a little bit more down? But he was like, no, uh, look at the view. So soak that view in. Because it looks it right like now. shit on the camera. Here's my final note on this week's vlog. We went out to nature this weekend. We went somewhere where there was no Trump, no Biden, no Republicans, no Democrats, no Dylan Dennis, no Andrew Tate, none of that shit. And I want to say to you guys that nothing you see on, on the internet matters, but you're watching this right now, so and I want this to matter. Go outside, explore the beauty of this fucking world. Both of us would agree that we saw things this weekend that will stay with us for the rest of our lives. We we bonded over the beauty that is this, this fucking world. So now that this is the end of the vlog, turn off YouTube. Go on, on your computer right now. Or if you live in Ukraine or Romania. If you live in Ukraine, if you live in Ukraine or, or Romania. Stay on YouTube. Dude. Then, then yeah. maybe click one of my older videos and watch you back. The moral of the story is this. I fucking mean it. Force yourself to disconnect. Put your phone down. None of this shit matters. Stop arguing with people over this thing or that thing. It doesn't matter. As far as this week's episode is concerned, thank you uh, for joining us. Thanks for riding with us. And thanks so much for working late with us, as always. We're clocking out. Peace. I don't want to be doing this shit. You want to sip my happy juice? No. Nah.
fucking hang you out here, you fucking... You know what? I could probably just kill you with breathing on you right now. Yeah, if you're watching, hit me up. Cut that out. Right, this is a tour of the ghost town, not a tour of Lana Rhodes' is... asshole. Asshole. <laughs> What was that? Did you see that? Did you feel like a weird energy come Lana past through? You are the one who slayed the beast, Lana Rhodes. <laughs> if I die, fucking close your mouth when you chew, you fucking disgusting animal. Yo, the car is not... I want to be airlifted out. I need to be airlifted out. Ah! Jeff! Jeff! Fucking just, asshole. Yeah, did you see that? You don't think that's funny, huh? Kill me. Kill me out here. <laughs>